everybody, this is Brian with Bear Cards 34 and today I'm coming back with a kind of a show and tell video. This right here is my giant 1990s insert book. So when I was a kid, I loved to get the insert cards. Before there were hits, this is really what we were looking at was, was the inserts. Those kind of were the hits at the time. And so I used to keep those separate and I collected a binder full of those. I'd say about 92-93% of these are cards that I pulled as a kid. However, there are a few that I've added on eBay over the last few years. So a few of them were eBay purchases, but the majority of these were from those 90s inserts. And because it was, you know, the quote-unquote junk wax era, they're, most of these are, are quite affordable. So if you ever see any that you're interested in or that look pretty cool, maybe check it out. You might be able to find some good ones. So this is, I'm not going to do a deep dive into this. I'm just going to kind of show you the pages and, uh, you know, kind of see uh, what pops out to you guys. So let me know which ones you like. I'm just going to do a handful for today. And then I'm going to do the giveaway uh, for my uh, last show and tell video, the 1989 Tops, the final uh, series of that that I did. I threw in a little giveaway uh, where I asked people to make a comment of which of the three sets were their favorites between score, pro set, and tops. So I'll show a few of these pages, and then I'll let you know uh, which card company uh, was voted number one by the people who commented. I'll kind of give you the order of that, and then we'll do the giveaway. Okay, so first up here, these are the 1994 FLIR ProVision cards. Uh, they had some really nice artwork for these. Uh, Ricky Waters, one of my favorites. Favre Aikman, Jerome Bettis, the great Joe Montana. So a nice little series there for 1994 Fleer. Oh, I had a cover sheet. Okay, so there they are. A little, a little clearer, I would imagine. All right, next up, these are the Upper Deck 1991 Game Breaker Holograms. Uh, if you get them in just the right light, maybe I can I'll have to see. So you really have to hit them just right, but but they're they're pretty sweet. There's a James Brooks right there. Let's see if I can. I'll try the uh, the Neil Anderson. Let's see if we can highlight that a little bit. Um, it does have some nice color if you get it just right. Uh, but the, but they're a little faded compared to what you would maybe like overall. But they're still a pretty pretty cool set there. And then this was a good one. This is the 1991 Upper Deck Football Heroes Joe Montana set. So it starts off with him in Notre Dame, becoming a star in 81, the Super Bowl success, Hall of Fame career. All right, next up, we have the 1992 Fleer All-Pro cards. And I don't have all of these. These were a little tougher to come by. But they're nice looking cards. You've got the shield in the background. I really like the Derek Thomas. And then good old wild card. So this is the 1991 wild card draft. And these are the stripes. So they came in fives, which were the most, the, the easiest ones to hit. And then you had tens. Uh, Jake Reed, rookie card. He was quite good for the Vikings. That was a nice one there. Uh, and then Eric Turner, great career, the late Eric Turner. So the 20s would be the next one. And then these, uh, this is a 100 stripe that I got in college uh, with a college team. And then uh, right here we have the NFL version. So nice Roger Craig. And I actually pulled a Rodney Pete 1000 out of a pack and it's not in the book but uh, that was a, a fun one for me to pull and there's a 50 of Bubby Brister and the wild card redemption card uh, World League of American Football also did these and there's a Scott Mitchell 10 and then this right here is a tops all pro card from 1995 of Cornelius Bennett nice looking card and then some more NFL players right there we got Hall of Famer Chris Carter Ricky Waters Herschel Walker, uh, Tommy Maddox, I believe that's a rookie card. Yeah, with the 10. Some more 10s. And then a 20 of Brian Bollinger. A nice 50 of Mark Clayton up there. 
and a 100 of Greg Lewis. I pulled this in a throwback video a while back. And these were kind of cool. These are wild card redemption cards. That's the, uh, I think, uh, I'm trying to remember what year that is. But anyway, those were wild card redemption cards from 92. And so that right there is a Jimmy Smith rookie card. He didn't have a lot of them, and he ended up having a great career. Uh, and then these right here, the Red Hot Rookies, 1992 Red Hot Rookie cards. And then we have uh, Tommy Maddox up there. Carl Pickens, Steve Entman, the number one pick. And then this right here, that is a select certified edition of Neil O'Donnell from, what year is that? 1996. So there we go. I had pretty much stopped collecting by 96, but I did pick up a, a couple of packs here and there, so I must have pulled that out of one of them. Okay, so that'll be it with the insert book for today, but I'll definitely show some more of those at some point in the near future. Uh, but kind of fun to go back and look at some of those. I think the 90s had a lot of really creative cards and some really cool inserts, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. All right, so again, I want to thank everybody who uh, subscribed to my channel over the last little while. I had mentioned uh, recently I went over 600 subs, so I really appreciate that. It's been great being a part of the community. I uh, really enjoy everybody's videos. While my family and I were sick recently uh, and I couldn't do much of anything, it was really nice to be able to watch some great content. So I appreciate all you guys for putting out some good videos. Uh, and anyway, I also want to thank everyone who uh, joined the, the giveaway drawing and voted on their favorite card of 1989 as far as the card design. And uh, so just to give you guys an update, coming in third place for favorite card of the 89 set was the Score series, which is uh, technically, I think, the most valuable of the three. I think it's the least produced, and they seem to be the ones that uh, have the uh, kind of the, the, the most value. Uh, but that came in third place. And first and second was a very close battle. So number two, by one vote, went to Tops. Which means that the favorite, the one that got the most votes, was uh, Pro Set, 1989 Pro Set. So I think these are all great. Uh, like I mentioned in the throwback, uh, the show and tell video, Action Pack did have a handful of cards as well. But it was just a three team test run and the, they had the exact same basic design a year later. So they'll be included next year. So I will be doing a 1990 show and tell deep dive into that set at some point. Uh, could be in a few weeks, could be a little longer. Uh, but keep an eye out for that. Now let's go ahead and do the giveaway. And again, I want to thank not only everyone who participated in the giveaway, but anyone who watched the video, anyone who commented. I really appreciate that. So here we go. Real quick, just as a reminder for the giveaway, uh, what I'm giving away is a handful of uh, cards from that 1989 uh, show and tell video I did. So a Steve Tasker rookie from Topps Traded, Sterling Sharp rookie, Chris Carter rookie, Tim Brown rookie, Rod Woodson rookie, Michael Irvin rookie, Thurman Thomas rookie, a pro set rookie of Troy Aikman, a 1989 record breaker of Troy Aikman. Uh, I also threw in uh, this uh, 1989 rookie of the year from a 1990 pro set of Barry Sanders. The Dan Hampton uh, that I pulled in a throwback or in a rip from that. Uh, Mark Rippon rookie card, Doug Flutie first Patriots card, I believe. Uh, Dan Marino, Hall of Famer, uh, John Elway, Eric Dickerson, uh, score great combos of Marcus Allen and Bo Jackson, Wayne Martin rookie, Broderick Thomas rookie, Eric Metcalf rookie, Bobby Humphrey rookie, and a Keith Jackson rookie. And since I did a little bit of a show and tell from 90s inserts, I'll also throw in one of my duplicates, the Fleer 91 All Pro of Andre Reed. Uh, so these will all be going to the winner of the drawing. And real quick, I had mentioned in the last uh, show and tell video, the 89 Tops Part 7, uh, when I showed off the Barry Sanders rookie card, I had mentioned that I got to meet him at a card show after the his rookie season. So it was just before the start of the 1990 season. He went to Salt Lake, and I was able to go to a card show 
where he signed autographs. So I got to meet him, shake his hand, and uh, he signed this. Uh, so you could uh, purchase these uh, color photos there and meet with him and get, get his signature. So uh, that is his auto from right after his rookie season. And it was really great to be able to meet him. He was already by that point my favorite player in the NFL. And so just great to, to be able to meet him. And he stayed my favorite player the duration of his career. So just a great running back there. Really happy to have this. One of my favorite parts of my collection for sure. Okay, so like my other giveaways, this is old school. We're going to go throw them all in the hat, and I'll just pick one out. So again, thanks for everybody for who, who participated. So the first one here, 23 Monch. Uh, he uh, has a channel of his own, so you should definitely check that out. He does uh, collectibles, comics, cards, toys. He had a Boba Fett bust that looked pretty awesome. So uh, feel free to check him out as well. Good luck. All right, next up, we've got Don Luca. A uh, great guy in the channel, always gives some great, or uh, great guy in the community, always gives some really thoughtful comments. He actually posted a video a little while ago where he did a showcase of the 1989 Pro Set announcer cards. Uh, so you guys should go check out that video. It's cool to, to see all of the old announcer cards. Uh, it was a really cool set. I'd love to see them do something like that again. All right, next up, we've got. Timothy Beisner, and I remember he voted for score. Uh, he mentioned especially Barry Sanders and Troy Aikman rookie cards. Really like those, as do I. All right, next up, we've got a uh, great guy in the community, Vintage Card Steve. Uh, he's got an excellent channel. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. His collection is super impressive. He's a very positive member of the community. has a lot of really thoughtful insight into the the card community so definitely check him out as well and then we got my guys zach and porter and zach let me know that this uh giveaway vote was for porter so if they win this will be going to porter uh great bear fans they have an awesome channel if you're ever worried about the next generation in the hobby and how that's going to be when you hear all the you know the talk of like in it for the hustle watch their videos porter gives us hope for the future he's a very knowledgeable, like his dad, with sports and sports cards. And uh, has a, they have a great collection, great channel, so check them out. Also, my good friend Ed, Angry Old Man. So uh, he has an uh, awesome channel as well. Probably the most impressive autograph collection I have ever seen. It is fantastic. He gives great shout-outs, he has great stories, and shows a lot of really awesome stuff. So... Definitely, again, check out his channel if you haven't already. All right, next up, we've got ROT Music. Uh, he put a, a vote in for Tops, and he has a channel as well. Uh, his channel is music. He does. He plays guitar and he sings. It's pretty awesome, so you guys should check that out. Give him a, a listen. All right, next up, we've got Baseball Card Collector. And he voted for Pro Set, if I remember right. And he's also got a great channel. Uh, he had a, so he does TTMs and things like that. But he did a video where he showed his uh, '59 baseball vintage set. It was awesome. So if you haven't checked him out, definitely give him a a spin. All right, next up we've got the Fanatic Card and Coin Guru. Uh, he also has a channel of his own, and he does a lot of different stuff, including card collecting. Uh, and he has a, a series, uh, Coffee with Guru, uh, as well. That's pretty interesting. So check him out as well. Thank you for voting in this, and good luck to you as well. Uh, next up, we've got my buddy Terry at TJ Mac Vintage Cards and Nostalgia. Great channel, very knowledgeable. He has a super collection of slabbed cards, and you know his, his channel. Uh, some of the the ones that I've mentioned, they're right up my alley because. Again, it's not about the graphs and the charts and the numbers. It's about the history, the players, uh, and, and honestly, like all these channels that I've been mentioning, it's, and Terry's very much included in that, uh, you know, you really can tell that there's a, a genuine love for the hobby. Tells some great stories, shows off some great cards. So you've probably already checked out his channel, but if you haven't, definitely do so. Good luck to Terry as well. And then last but not least, we have Stories in Cardboard. So this is Chris. He does, again, a lot of great stories. J exactly. It was such a perfect title for his, his uh, you know, channel, Stories in Cardboard, because that's exactly what it is. He tells great stories. He has a great collection. Great guy. 
All right, so a lot of very worthy, excellent people. I really appreciate all of you for doing this. And I'm just gonna kind of shuffle this up a little bit. And then now, let's see, who did I pick? I picked, <laughs> there you go. TJ Mack, Vintage Cards and Nostalgia. So Terry, looks like you've got a nice package coming your way. Um, I already have your address. I believe I still have that, so no need to let me know. But congratulations to Terry. Got a nice little collection here of cards from 1989. Uh, so yeah, congratulations. I'll go ahead and, and get that out to you as soon as I can. And thanks again, everybody, for, for watching, for supporting the channel, uh, for taking a dive into the hobby with me. I always appreciate it. I mentioned it before, uh, but before I created this channel, I loved the hobby. I loved collecting. But ever since I, you know, kind of drifted away in the, in the mid-90s and the card craze died down, it's really just been a hobby I've appreciated on my own, just by myself. And so having people in the community who share their videos, and even people who don't, you know, people who just make comments and, and share their stories and, and, and watch the videos, so that, you know, th this collection of mine can kind of come alive a little bit, and I can actually share it with people who appreciate it, uh, it's a great thing. So I really appreciate everybody who participates. I appreciate everybody who's a part of this hobby and this community. So thanks again, everybody. Um, I'll be back with more videos in the near future. In fact, my next video is going to be another throwback rip. This is uh, Playoff First and 10 from 1997. And I, I actually saw a box review of this on the sports card professor who gave a great uh, you know, uh, view of, of the of the, the product and what you can expect in a box. And uh, it was very affordable, and I thought, hey, this will be kind of unique, pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and, and try to get some of these uh, hits in here. And I didn't collect in 97, so it'll be kind of fun to, to add to the collection a little bit. So that'll be my next one. But anyway, everybody, thanks so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. And go Bears. <laughs>